We've all been enjoying the phenomenon that has been WandaVision, and I am no exception. It has led to so many questions. Uh, the YouTubes are filled with theories and ideas of where the plot is heading. Uh, so upon my 50th watching of all the episodes that have been released uh, for WandaVision, I became intrigued that after you know you're done watching the latest episode of WandaVision Disney Plus has a weird thing maybe it's just my Disney Plus subscription but it says recommended play and it wants me to play the Age of Ultron now it could be because the show is referencing the movie in episode 3 so maybe that is why Disney Plus is suggesting that I go ahead and watch that that movie so I decided to take that request and rewatch Age of Ultron and a lot of things start Started make not making sense but kind of having a correlation like how Ultron's attitude in the Avengers movie is almost similar to the attitudes of the townspeople and that led me into this whole uh, rabbit hole that I am now going to present at the end of the of the Avengers Age of Ultron we see Vision destroy the last version of Ultron or what we believe to be the last version of Ultron but if we remember the uh, the movie in towards the beginning where Ultron destroys uh, Vision or uh, Jarvis and then somehow we know we get an exposition with Banner and Tony Stark about how Tony found Jarvis somewhere hidden in the internet. And then I stopped and kind of said, well, if Vision could do that, couldn't Ultron do the same? I mean, I know that in the in the fight scene, he's there present, but he's in the internet. Just like a million, of, a million of us could be watching a video. And is that video not everywhere at once? It's not in one, you know stationary er uh, stationary area um so i i was just like well if vision could do it then or what would 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 be soon to become vision then why couldn't ultron and and then towards the end of the battle scene i know what everybody's thinking oh well vision shut off ultron from all access but what about where he, like if he did like a backup file or a backup somewhere or hid the same way that uh jarvis hid we mu i must assume that ultron is at least the same in his intelligence and would have that kind of of i guess you know backup fail safe mode would be so in episode five of wandavision we see in the security footage that shield is showing them in that briefing room where either shield or the u.s government was trying to rebuild the vision or at least find out how he worked at the bare minimum but we can see that he was hooked up in in a computer now at the end like i said we see vision block him uh from you know going back in or trying to spread himself so what if you know in this scenario Ultron did back himself up somewhere the same as Jarvis did and obviously as since he blocked him out and Vision was alive and he couldn't access Vision because Vision was his own entity he was you know becoming uh well I, I don't know if he was becoming he seemed to be fully uh, conscious and aware of his own action so he couldn't access 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 him in that state because there was no connection there so once thanos you know takes the mind you know the mind stone away and destroys vision or kills vision for all intensive purposes um the either like i said shield or the u.s government grabs the carcass of vision takes them back to their sick secret facility as they tell us in episode five and hook him up and we have to uh, assume that some sort of internet uh or some kind of you know uh, 
connection to the World Wide Web was done, whether it be through diagnosis or whether it be through footage, an access point where then Ultron could re-enter Vision, the body that he created, his vision of his perfect body, as he lets us know, in Age of Ultron. So then you might be saying, well... Well, it would be a perfect way for Ultron to finally enter, like I said, the body that he created. What what he believed was his ultimate mission, and and it, you know, like I said, his perfect uh, idea of of what he wanted to be. So I know what you're asking, well, or what you're thinking. You're well, okay. He let's say he does get back in the body. Doesn't explain how all this, you know, all of this that we're seeing in WandaVision is taking place now. Hear me out. So he enters in that state. We see in the footage that he ha he's connected to a bunch of wires. So let's say Ultron enters him there. So he's going to have to have outside forces to speed up the process. We all know the in real life or in movies, uh, when U.S. governments or governments in, throughout the world get a hold of some kind of super weapon, they always intend to use it for evil. So not saying that Ultron would care about all that, but he wants to speed up the process. You know, they're going, they want to find out maybe about the, vibra the vibranium uh, that that he's made from or how you know Tony Stark and Banner were able to create uh, this form even though it wasn't really them it was actually Ultron that created all that you know what created the the carcass of vision that we see so what if Ultron you know, lured Wanda to get to get to or steal the body once he entered Vision's remain. You know, after Endgame. You know, when they have him, you know, hooked up as we see in uh, in Episode Five, they have him uh, uh, hooked up. So, so Wanda could reconstruct his body as the the I can't remember the the acting uh, director of Shield as he says. You know that she went in there, Wanda went in there, and then brought him back and was going against Vision's living will, right? So what if somehow he was, you know, they haven't showed us yet, but, you know, memories of a vision through pictures, you know, through the phone, how, you know, how, almost like how Facebook gives us, you know, the memories and it reminds us of past things. What if Ultron could manipulate the internet music that they both shared something that, you know, maybe he was keeping tap on, you know, them through the outside, what they like, what they didn't like. So the, the, the so the rage, so the anger, so the, the missing vision could escalate to such a level that she was just forced to steal the body. And like like uh, like we've been told, reconstruct him or bring him back to to life. So uh, that's very you know easy to to believe and even you know plausible. So once you have that, you know where where Wanda is in this emotion, Ultron obviously needed somehow someone else to be able to fulfill his his deception, you know, to help him out because he can't do it all by himself. He's stuck he's stuck in the internet or he's stuck in the world wide web. So what another possibility is that Ultron uh, used or is working with Agnes. We we are assuming and I think everyone is is safe and to assume that Agnes is somehow Agatha from the comic from the comics, right? So she's a witch. So she has the similar powers. I've heard it over and over again in so many videos how they're similar uh, or she's similar to to Wanda or at least mentored her, but she has the power of suggestion, suggestive magic or to put ideas in head the same thing kind of like what we're seeing in wandavision where we were seeing where she might not be in full control or not it has the show hasn't really answered those questions but if agnes is agatha from from the comics and we are now seeing it in the tv show it, Ultron and, and Agnes working together to put this whole facade for the ultimate plan to bring Ultron back to fulfill his ultimate, you know, goal and finally enter, like I said earlier, his, his body that was designed for him. You know, what if Ultron somehow convinced Agnes to help him in his quest, but then, you know, like then regrets it and turns around and helps to destroy it. You know, after she helps bring this, you know, sentient life back into Vision's 
corpse of Vision's body. I mean, that seems like a Marvel plot to me. Uh, just like Ultron, Ultron was created, the problem of was created uh, from Tony Stark. And then, you know, he justifies it and then he helps defeat it at the end. And, and you see that over and over and over again. It's like the, the oldest uh, trope, I think they call it, in superhero uh, movies. Or, in, or not even superhero movies, mostly any movies. You know, they, they caused the problem and then they spent the whole middle of the movie figuring out and fixing the problem. And then actually, you know, fixing the problem at the end. Uh, and like I said, you tell uh, that sounds like a Marvel plot to me. And if you think that this, oh, maybe Ultron, and you know, so you might be thinking, okay, fine, you're giving it to me, right? You're saying let I'm gonna I'm gonna humor you and follow you along. So yes, he 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 got Wanda to steal the body, and he's working with you know Agatha or Agnes. Uh, in this grand deception, you know, because they're using this frequency from the Big Bang. So, I mean, Ultron should have that kind of of power of the at least the you know what we're seeing in editing. So right now we see these edits in in the show. Now, obviously, Ultron can't do much. He doesn't have no physical. He's stuck in the internet. That's where Vision put him. But he can edit the what we're seeing, and that's when I, where I think some of the jumps and some of the edits. I don't think it's Wanda. I don't think it's Agnes. But what if it's Ultron editing the footage? Because he can't. You know, uh, Agnes could do be doing the witchcraft and all that kind of weird stuff that we're seeing with the sitcoms and all that you know awesomeness that we're watching. But what if Ultron is handling what's being broadcast out to show? to make Wanda the villain, to make, you know, for her betrayal at the, you know, in the, you know, uh, Age of Ultron in the movie, in her betrayal of, of, of helping Ultron fulfill his uh, ultimate quest. I mean, when, when uh, Wanda and her brother, you know, Quicksilver left, he was disturbed he wanted them, to, he wanted their help. Um, so I think that maybe it's a little way of a revenge factor you know making her the ultimate villain not that he needs to but it's just a clever way to allow him the time that he needs for his plan to come into fruition but again what if ultron is the editor and is the one editing what we are being seen or what a shield is uh being shown and you might think i'm crazy and you might think this this uh theory is way out there and i grant you it is out there but it's what if i'm just saying what if but for everyone that is a comic uh aficionado i'm gonna say if agnes is agatha from the comics in earth 616 from the comic book i'm just saying that you know agatha or agnes helps destroy a version of ultron in that and i just thought it was interesting it, I, the you know uh in, innuendos and the suggestiveness from disney the way uh marvel is known for their misdirection and we're waiting for this you know brand new you know, baddie, what if we're going to get Ultron for another, you know, movie, for another uh, round, like a Loki, how he was, you know, in multiple villains and multiple uh, movies. So what if Ultron is coming back for another uh, go around? A lot of fans were disappointed in how uneventful the age of Ultron or a, a, a weak of Ultron, you know, the age, it wasn't really the age of Ultron and weren't, weren't satisfied, uh, with that movie, even though it grossed a ton of freaking money. What if he's making a little bit of a, of a second go around? I'm just saying it's not, it's not too far fetched. And I think, you know, the, they're showing us the fancy little, you know, carrot over here on the left side, you know, all this new villain, all Mephisto and this guy and all this person and this. But what if it's just Ultron? You know, the you know, why is Disney Plus telling me to watch Ultron? Was it just because they mentioned him in episode three, uh, two or I mean three? Or is it because there's some hidden meaning in there telling us that it's not a new villain? It's an old, old villain getting his opportunity to fulfill his 
quest kind of like Thanos with the snap. And now he has an opportunity to enter the, the vision that he had for being the ultimate savior of the world. You tell me, let me know what you think. Roast me if you want on in the comments as far as what, uh, if you think this theory is ridiculous or if you find the plausibility as I do. I think it's interesting and at least worth a, a quick discussion. So hope you enjoyed it. Again, let me know what you guys think. And that's a wrap.